everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here, I truly appreciate it. Today we have ourselves a Bell & Howell, and I believe this model number is a 421B motion picture projector. So this is an old school vintage player, probably more vintage than I am. So as in usual fashion, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. It was given to me to take a look at. I agreed on the very rare occasion I agreed to look at anything, but this one kind of intrigued me because it's super cool. So let's get this on the bench, take it apart, and I'll show you what the problem is. Come on. Why don't we try and get this thing opened up? I'm not quite sure. Oh, that was simple. There we go. There's a cover. And these little arms here, they just pop up and out. And apparently we load the tape or the video through here. It auto loads, comes down. Apparently the problem is this one down here is seized. This one is loose, so I can see that. So we're going to plug it in and we're going to hit the motor and we're going to see if this one, bottom one here turns. Okay, so from the information I found out, this auto load feature can be done by one of two ways. If we push this up, uh, we can turn this manually. And we see that down here, this knob right here is not turning. This one right here should be turning. Just the upper one is. So what's happening now is it's feeding in, then it's jamming here. Even if we were to turn the motor on and then run it, as you can see, the top one's turning, the bottom one's not. So we definitely have an issue here. I think we're just going to take the back cover off. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What am I looking at here? Well, I can tell you we have a belt that is still attached. So that is a good thing there. We have the bottom wheel here that is seized. This is the one that's not turning right here. All right, so if you can see here when I'm manually turning, this is actually spinning on the top one. And the one down on the bottom is not. It's just stripping. So I think what we're going to try and do is I'm going to try and get some penetrating oil inside there. I'm at a real standstill here because I really don't know how to get penetrating oil in there because my penetrating oil does not have a straw. All right, I just couldn't help myself. I had to do something here to try and get this apart. So I'm going to lift that top spring off, put it aside carefully, remove the washer, washer carefully, remove this arm carefully, remove another washer. Oh no, let's just slide this gear right off of there. No surprises underneath, thank you. And here, oh, now I have great access to that stuck shaft. So now let's spray some oil in there and see what we can do. Okay, so we're just gonna let that sit a couple minutes and I'm just gonna try and wiggle it back and forth with the screwdriver. All right, that's been soaking for a bit. I can see a lot of green scum coming out of there. So it was this one right here. Oh, and look at that, it turns already without any effort whatsoever. Okay, well that's that's a really good start. Okay, so we're gonna keep oiling it. And I'm just gonna slowly work this back and forth. Also, uh, once I get this freed up, I'm gonna drop some light oil down here and then on the back shaft. As well, I will go ahead and oil the rest of them, as well as some fresh grease on the back gears. It's still a little stiff. I've gone ahead and cleaned off the penetrating fluid that we had in there. And now I'm just put some light oil. I'm just going to spin it with the drill a little bit, nice and light. See if we can work that free a little bit more. A lot easier than turning it by hand, I'll tell you. And just reverse it. Oh, it's super smooth now. I can feel it on the drill. Oh, yeah, super smooth now. Turns with ease. Don't even need that. Spin it with my fingers.
really, really ingenious little, little setup that is. All right, let's plug it back in quickly, making sure not to touch anything back here so we don't injure ourselves. And let's give it a little on motor. All right, we have spinning. All right, that is looking good. We're spinning both on the top and the bottom. Make sure it's in a neutral position or still position. Turn on the motor. It's quieter. And we're going to go forward. And let's try loading this again. And there we go. So let's get this thing back together and let's test it out. Okay, I think we have it back together. Every, all the screws are back in. The covers are back on. And let's give it a shot. And as we can now see, the bottom is turning, as is the top. And we have lamp. There we go. Still, forward. All right, let's see if we can load a movie in this thing and watch. It is kind of nerve wracking actually because it's not my old movies and it's this person's personal memories when they were a child. So I really hope this works because if it doesn't. I'm sorry. Okay, so again, I have no idea what I'm doing, how to load these. She gave me a bag of parts here. find out what I'm doing first and then let's get back to this. All right I just noticed something else these pieces are supposed to be attached to the arms and these should rotate with the forward and backward motion of the projector but these do not turn and they do not sit inside of their proper pieces and then I looked into this little <clears throat> baggie that she included and it has a bunch of little broken plastic pieces and some kind of little metal collar which I'm going to assume probably went on to the back of these things like so. These are both broken inside. You can see the plastic screws are broken inside here. So I'm assuming those little plastic screws like this. I'm assuming that little guy actually threaded in to here and held it on the back. So I'm going to do some research on these and see if I can find anything online because I know absolutely nothing about what's going on right now other than these don't turn. And I know they should from a video that I watched. So. I'll be back. All right, so here we are the next day in the garage, and I got to go ahead to go ahead and look after these for her. So I heated up my torch, and I just melted a screwdriver into the little plastic broken piece inside, and I'm just twisting it out. And that is the broken screw from inside of the little reel thing. So now if we get really lucky, we get to do the other side. Okay, so we're skipping ahead quite a few days later. Uh, I was able to take apart some computer components that I had kicking around, and I got some little tiny screws that fit in here. That little piece right there is supposed to have a collar. Now, I only got one metal collar in her little group of pieces, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and got a rivet, a tire valve stem thing here, and I got this little compression union little piece right here, and I'm gonna try and make a collar for this one right here. There's a bunch of washers, inside of these spinning arms right here and what it does it compresses those washers when you put the screw in on the back so i'm really hoping that i can uh, grind this guy down i have one in this one right here i've already assembled this one uh, so i'm not going to take it apart but i do have this thing here that i'm going to grind down and hopefully this is going to work and i'll show you how i put that together over there okay so now to give you guys an idea of what i'm talking about this piece slides into here like so and then it comes around the back through there and there's a bunch of washers inside and that little sleeve fits there and then a bolt and a screw. So let's get grinding this little guy right here.
Okay, so we got that little piece grinded up. Should be the right size. Now the struggle is going to be to try and line up uh, these washers correctly here so I can get that piece in the back. So I'm going to time lapse that because last time I tried, it took me about 15 minutes. So. Okay, so that went super well. That only took uh, one tenth of the time that it took me to do the last one. All right, so we got that back together and now that little tiny piece right here is going to go on top of that shaft like so. I need to find a washer that's going to go on the inside. Okay, so I had no luck finding a washer, so I made a washer. We have it done. So that side is done. Now this side is done as well. You see now that it fully engages. Okay, now I think just what I'm going to do just quickly, I'm going to take those screws out of there. I'm just going to put a little drop of Loctite on them just for some extra security. And then we're going to mount this thing back together and we're going to try and load a video. We'll put that in forward. This should auto load. that really got stiff right there so something's going on here all right i gotta figure out what's going on it's pretty tight all right skipping ahead in two weeks for sure so i got some loctite on those screws up on top and i got it all figured out so these are clutch actuated inside they need the proper tension inside to be able to actually turn and to also be able to freewheel so it's like a game where you got to get that right so i got it right i think this time so we'll just load this up here we have it. So let's just get her started up. All right, we're gonna stick it in forward. And there we have it. Lamp on. And we have our video playing. I'm not going to show you a video because it's a private video of hers, but it's working and it's quiet and it didn't chew anything up. So we'll let it go through this and I'll show you guys how it rewinds. Okay, we just hit the end of our film, so we're just going to turn it into the still position. This flips upwards and we bring this tape back over here, slide it into that little groove that's in there. So and then we stick it into reverse and this is rewind believe it or not and we are done so there you have it folks 1970s bell and howell eight millimeter projector disassembly repair over the past month or so but we got it done i think uh, she's going to be very happy with it and didn't cost her anything. No, I'm pleased to do it for her. Very, very happy. So again, if you like what you saw here, and if this helped you at all, you uh, hit that like button on the video so this video gets out to other people. And if I, you think I deserve it, hit the subscribe button. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.